Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I'm going to try and do this live. This is a board, because I wanted a stiffer surface. I got this at Walmart for like, I want to say a dollar. It's been a couple of weeks since I bought it, so um, I was trying to remember the price. Anyways, it says it's by Plaid. It was just a cheap piece of board so that I could um, use some pressure. You'll see why in a little while. And I'm going to put some gesso on it and um, get it covered uh, just so that whatever I end up doing to it doesn't um, soak in. It'll paint. You know, paint goes on a little bit better that way. Alright. So I will gesso this and we'll be right back. Now that we've got it gessoed and it's dry, we're going to... Um, Stick this on. This will be our first layer. Okay. So I've seen this technique somewhere. Okay, it's still soaking in. I only did one layer of just soap. Um, I've seen this technique done a long time ago. I tried to find it on YouTube and. Um, I wasn't quite sure how to search it, and I could not find it, so hopefully um, this technique will be new to some of you. It is a series of layers, and in the end it's supposed to look like a worn out book, like torn pages of a book. And I'm going to make sure I get a nice good coat over the top of this. You know, I thought I was doing so well keeping those bubbles out. There we go. The Tim Holtz tissue usually goes on pretty well without bubbles. But, you know, I only put a little bit of the medium underneath. It's when I started putting it on top as it bubbled and the surface is wet enough I can just rub there we go I think we got it nice and flat now okay so we're gonna put this on and then we're gonna dry it and I think I want I want to make sure it's good and sealed because um, of what we're gonna be doing to it we might want to actually be able to see or yeah, you'll you'll understand. Okay. So we are gonna go ahead and let that dry. It has a little bit of ripples, but not too bad, I think. And we'll be back once that's dry. Okay. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Um the thing I watched said uh, they used like Vaseline or something, I just didn't and one of them used like like hair wax. They said you could use wax from a candle. I got these at the dollar store and I've been using them for a few things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rub the wax on areas we want to keep. So I think I want to keep this moth so I'm gonna rub wax on it. Now, I've never done this before. So I'm just kind of doing an area like that and I'm going to do a little area here maybe a big area um, we'll work our way smaller as we go through I certainly hope this works okay. I like the music so we'll get a little bit of music maybe this little corner here um, I can't tell what I've done now so we're going to go right there okay and maybe right there okay so Cross your fingers that this is going to work. Now I've got to pick some colors. Okay, so I picked my colors. Mm, maybe I should do one dark one. Not Christmas green. Maybe Tuscan Till? We'll do a Tuscan Till. Okay, so 
Now we're going to paint it all over with one color. We will pick this color and give me a good paintbrush. Okay. So it's my acrylic paints sit forever, so they're they're not quite as runny as they should be. Okay, so we're gonna give it a coat of paint. Plus, who knows, this may be a disaster. Okay, we're going to let this dry. Because it has the wax on there, I'm not going to use the um, blow dryer. Just because I want to make sure this works. Okay, so I'll get back to you as soon as this is dry. Okay, now it's the moment of truth. So we're going to heat these areas. It's not a heat gun, it's a blow dryer. So hopefully it'll get warm. Heat the areas where the wax was. Oh yeah, it's kind of, okay. I'm feeling, a, ooh. Okay, get the water off the little wiggly table. There we go. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. Maybe, sort of, kind of. Oh, I did stuff over here too, didn't I? Like, kind of. It was not looking like torn paper. It was looking like painted paper. I don't know. There is wax there. I can feel it. Okay. All right. Well. So now I know I'm going to rub more wax. Okay, so I'm going to re-wax these areas. Put lots of wax on this time. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of wax. Okay, and I'm going to wax there. Re-wax right there because I want this to stay. Okay. Now I think I will... Um, Stamp something. Let me find a stamp. Okay, so now I've hunted through my stamps. I really kind of want to do these birds. Maybe one of the birds. Maybe not this layer. So let's see. We'll do just like some scripty stuff, maybe. Let's do some script. So this is gray. I have a black one, but it looks a little different. It says ranger, says archival, but it tends to bleed if I get it wet, and it's probably going to get wet. So we're just going to put the word dream. Why not put it right there? Gushy, gushy, gushy. Hopefully I inked it enough. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, so then... We should do more. 
What else should we do? Something worth saving, preserving. Let's see. I like the feather. Do feather up here. And the feather down there. Okay. That's good enough for now. Okay, now I have to let that dry too, and then we're going to apply wax to it. Caution. Okay, now we've got this part on here. Um, I don't necessarily need to preserve the whole feather here. I'm just going to try and wax up a section. Now remember where we left the wax. Right there. I'm trying to make it thick. Get off the little crumbs because that makes the paint weird. Okay, so that should do it for there. Brush off the excess. And we did this already again, right? For good measure. Okay, I really like this feather. I'm going to keep a bit of it. We hope. This is, like I said, I've never done this before. And waxing that for good measure. Okay, and it's not drying, so we're going to blot it a little bit. Let's see, blot it with a piece of, just to make sure we don't smear it everywhere. Oh, nothing really came off there, so, okay, cross your fingers. We're going to do this. Ugh, it's smeared. Of course it's smeared. I think there might be some wax under there. That's probably the problem. Okay, so we have part of a word. And we are going to paint. Okay, that's weird and wet. Why is that wet? I think I stuck it in this water. I was spilling earlier. Okay, let's clean up my waxy mess. I can scoot it right off into my garbage. Whoosh. There we go. Now, what color should we do? Should we do this or should we do a layer of white? Nah, I'm gonna do this. Okay. I'm gonna pull paint down. And again, we're just gonna go over the top and we're gonna hope we don't make mud. This whole thing. I did try to pick paints that um, kind of go together. I think I need more purple. Okay, and the special o ring we get. I'll toss that. Okay. I'm just going to kind of let the edges kind of do that weird dragginess and this area. It's not seeming real opaque, is it? Let's see. Opaqueness. We want opaqueness. Opacity. Is that a word? I shouldn't. I think um, voiceovers are a lot better because I talk randomness when I'm talking while painting. Sometimes I'll sing a little song. It's just weird that way. Are we opaque enough? not the prettiest color. I think if I do some more, make it thicker. Okay, so I got this gross paint skin in there. Okay, just a warning if you've never watched my channel before. Um, I am new to mixed media. I've been doing it since probably about October of last year. When I have painted, I can't say I haven't painted, I've taken some watercolor classes. I did a little, um, little bit of art in college. But working with the different kind of paints, 
different techniques. That is new, so um, my channel is all about exploring the different mixed media techniques. And art journaling, because I've never really done art journaling before either. So I like to try that too. Okay, we're going to let this dry. I'm going to leave that till I kind of like it. Okay, let this dry and we'll be back. Okay. Another moment of truth. Paper towel. I don't know what I did with the other one. I used it to wash up the table, I think. Okay, we'll start in this spot over here. Heat that up. I need a heat gun. And rub. Oh, here we go. Something's happening. Oh my gosh, this is difficult. Oh, I forgot. Water again. Off the table. Ugh. Water. Off the table. Okay. Rub some more. Do we lose track of the, uh... Okay, I need more heat. I need more than two hands. Oh, there's something happening right there. Oh, and there's the feather. Okay, that spot. That's probably good enough for that spot, don't you think? Got some... Is that wax? That feels like wax right there. We're gonna get that spot right there. This should just rub off without heat gun, but heat gun is supposed to make it easier. It's a struggle. Okay. I think it's working. It doesn't have to be perfect. The idea is to look like torn pieces of paper, right? I think I want to do that spot a little bit more. In the spot. Okay, that definitely needs a little melting. Okay, so we got that. Did you see that? Sorry if it stopped recording. Gonna okay, rewax. So rewaxing all these areas. Actually, the feather and all of this. And I like that spot, so we'll wax that spot. And I want to keep that area. I don't necessarily need that whole thing. We'll just wax this area. And I want that, and I want this, and, um, do I want anything purple? Okay.
Now this one's a little bit heavier paint. Sorry. I'm having issues. As usual. Okay. So now we're gonna cross your fingers. I'm just gonna go over it with the white. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. still see through it though. There we go. Okay, now let it dry. So I decided for this one I'm gonna do the alphabet. Let's see if I can do this. Not very good at lining things up, but hopefully it won't matter really, right? Right. Okay. So. Of course. I don't know if they were all still stuck together. Do I have a rubber band? I'm sure it would work if I rubber banded it together. A washi tape? Hang on a sec. Okay, yeah, I did. I washi taped it together. <laughs> so now I'm going to ink them up. Hopefully. Well, they're not inking very lovely. Ink, 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 ink. Okay, we'll see how this goes. And then we're just gonna set them on just like that. My acrylic thing. Get it nice and level. Cross your fingers. Yeah. Kind of okay. Whatever. We don't even know what parts. Do we remember where I waxed? I don't remember where I waxed. And this paint is tacky. Oh, and I didn't need to do the whole thing, did I? Bad girl. Okay. Clean this piece off. So now we're going to let this dry. Oh, damn. One more time. Okay, I'm a little scared that this is not going to come off. We're going to test it out here. So, Let's see, I know we had something here in this area. And rub. Oh, yay. Okay, it's showing up a little bit. Maybe, sort of. Okay. 
maybe too much? I don't know, it just peels, look at that. I think this is a different kind of paint. Okay. This might be an issue. I want the leaf. Oh, there's the leaf. Okay. And then, let's see. The bird was right there. Let's see if we can find our bird. My blow dryer doesn't really get that hot. Bird! Where are you, bird? It's there. I know it's there. That didn't work out so well. Okay. I need a paper towel. I need a paper towel. Okay. That's okay. Okay, this is a struggle. I wonder. I wonder if this would work. Do you see the bird is stamped? there. Sort of. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's the memory. I don't like how my bird is like got the white on it. Okay. Let's see. Something here I like too, didn't I? Okay, right there. And there's something over here. Oh yeah. Do I have anything in this area? I don't think so. Okay. Mm. Word dream was right there, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think it's there anymore. We're gonna give up on it. Okay. So that kind of works. That almost works better than the heat tool. Not perfect. I have enough of the turquoise. I don't think I'm gonna scrape anymore. Okay. Okay. That's probably not a good idea. We're gonna put that away. Oh, but we have to remember, because we have to write down. I have to write down what I used. Okay. My little bird is there. Okay. Pshew. Messy, messy, messy. So which one should we do? Should we do this one or this one? I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. So now I've scraped all that wax off again. We're gonna keep that area. Make sure that's nice and thick. And of course we're keeping that area. And a little bit of the music. Roll it around, roll it around. Okay, gotta keep our leaf. Okay, and we're gonna keep this whole section. Okay, we gotta keep our bird. That bird was a struggle. Come on, birdie. Get you nice and waxy. Nice and waxy. This one yet? I can't remember. Wow, we're like going to town on this candle. Okay. And we want to keep some of the lettering. I like the ABC or the BCD. Okay. So we're going to go right over the top of that. Well, the CD now at this point. Do 
always been be prepared for a mess. Okay. And is there any way to pull the uh, string out of that? Okay, so we're gonna try and keep the J and the K and the P and the Q. I think I kind of kill it when I do that. Okay, well. Okay. Man, I'm a mess. Alright, next layer. Focus moment. There we go. Cross your fingers. So we are going to let that dry. Messy, messy project. Okay. Let's see what we do. I keep using new paper towels. I think I'm going to go for this one. It's got a dry spot. Oh, this is so crazy. I like the card better. Card, scrapey, scrapey. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the card technique? What do we think of the card technique? Maybe a mixture of card and paper towel? Something up here. Ooh, did I remember to wax that part? Anywhere else that I want it to be uncovered? Oh, my bird! Oh, I almost forgot about my bird. Gotta uncover the bird.
back to the wax again. I like this spot right here, so we'll try to preserve that spot. I don't know. This isn't really working like I was hoping. So we'll see what happens. Let's <sighs> conceal. Okay, we're doing one last layer, and this one is vanilla. I used all my parchment one. So this is just so that it's not a stark, stark white. I just want a little off-white. And we're going to coat this really well. I feel like I'm covered in bits of wax and paint after this whole thing, I tell ya. Okay. Do do do. Do do do. I'm a very messy painter. Definitely a messy, messy, messy painter. Especially when the paint is like gooey. That was so worth the darn. Wow. The surface is like, oh my gosh, it's like gooey, like, 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 um, because there's so much, so many layers of paint on it. Okay, we're going to let that dry and then we'll do a second coat. Let that dry. One more. So now we're going to do another coat of the white. I forgot to take this out of the water. I didn't have it sitting in there that long that time. Back that up. Okay, so another coat on here. So I can't see any of the other layers, hopefully. I feel like I need some water. I know, I know you shouldn't really do that, but it just flows so much better. Okay. Oh, it's sticking so well before. Okay. bit more paint. much water. See? Get 
the moisture out. be the messiest project and the most convoluted I have ever done. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry again. Okay, so I have way too many layers of paint. Every time I bump it, something peels off. So, yeah. Okay, so we are going to stamp this with the only stamp I have that's got lots of letters on it. So this is a script stamp. Not in English or anything. See how well I can do it lining it up here. And um, would it be weird if it went the other way? It'd be weird if it went the other way. So we're gonna go right off the edge. I just decided that. Push that down. Give it a minute. Push, push, push. Cross your fingers. Hmm. I think some paint came up. Yeah, some paint came up. Let's. Gotta clean that in a minute. Okay. Now we're gonna do it again. Let's see. The sides. We'll just do side of this thing. And we're going to stick it right here. Oh, that's crooked. <laughs> ah, very crooked. Very crooked. Hopefully it won't matter. Okay. So now we're going to do just the top section. like the other one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, stuck. Okay. I'm take the baby wipe to this um, thing because it's got paint on it. The paint is peeling up. Ooh. That's a foamy little baby wipe there. And we wait for this to dry. Okay, so here is the final step. We've survived this far. Let's see what happens this time. So we know there's something right here, right? This is the butterfly. You see the butterfly under there? Crapanoli. I don't think I waxed it enough. I don't think I waxed it enough. Okay, we're gonna do it this way. I know it's there. See, there it is. Right there. Hiding. Whoops. Oh, that was fun. Okay. So there's that piece, and then there's a spot right here. Okay, I need to heat it up. Okay. So there's that spot.
Okay, you know, in the video they made it look all so easy. This was not freaking easy. can't see that dark color. I really thought you'd see the dark color on the edges of the white. Hmm. But you don't. Okay. I don't know, what do you think? Is it a finished work of art? Am I ready to call it quits? There's just wax there. Something's there. Just, ooh. Don't think too deeply. You'll get an ugly surprise. up again. I guess I've decided it's done. I decided we're done. I think I'm going to decide that I'm done. Not a very smooth edge, is it? I wonder if it would be good. I kind of like the white. Feels very waxy though. We're gonna give it a coat of matte medium. Alright, completion. I'll get some close-ups. <laughs> 